match. It's Queen's Park Rangers against Chelsea, the only first-class match played in London this weekend. 22,000 at Loftus Road. Rangers, best crowd of the season, in fact. And the artificial pitch. No arguing now that it makes a great side of green in London this weekend. Thanks to the work of 30 prisoners from nearby Wormwood Scrubs, who were allowed in early in the morning to clear away the covers. But QPR have had their problems. Somebody stole in the previous night and painted in white on the pitch a slogan proclaiming a man's innocence. At any rate, let's catch up on the two teams. Here's the QPR team. The first game for 18-year-old midfielder Mark O'Connor and a rare chance for 20-year-old Ian Stewart up front. Queen's Park Rangers still missing top scorer Simon Stainrod, who is suspended. Meanwhile, Chelsea, they're unchanged. They're a side going through a good little spell right now, unbeaten in their last five games. Number seven, Alan Mays, is a former Rangers man. The only decision for manager John Neal was to name the sub, and it's Mickey Nutton. Bates from straight at Flanagan. Coming back to Flanagan. From O'Connor. Now oh, Flanagan off. Michael White. And it might come through O'Connor's little touch there. Flanagan trying to play it back again. Flanagan shot just over the top. Good combination there by Queen's Park Rangers. And Chelsea had so many back. And it was a ball that came out in the end so invitingly for Mick Flanagan. And his shot was too high. Rhoda. That's a good ball by Rhoda. If Flanagan could get there. Oh, and the keeper completely bemused by that. Well, there was an example of players not used to the artificial turf. Young Steve Francis came out and was completely bamboozled by the bounce. Flanagan wasn't, but in the end didn't quite get the cross that was required with the keeper right out of it. You can see Francis completely misjudging it, then losing his footing. Flanagan just keeping in play there. Stewart. Oh, what a nice little back heel there for Michael White. Going past Troy, and the shot was over the top. A lovely play there by Rangers. They looked so much more sure-footed uh, coming forward there than Chelsea did in defending. And young Stewart, and then Michael White. The back heel there in the first place. Then Michael White taking on Troy, going round him, and his shot was too high. Hutchins again. Gillard just flicking it on, but a little pass here might put Walker in. 1-0 to Chelsea. Well, against the run of the play for most of the day, a lovely little ball there. Walker hitting it in off that far post there, putting Chelsea into the lead. And now Fennec. And now Michael White being chased by Fillery, but still finds Stewart. And a deep cross towards Mick Flanagan. There's his header, and there's a good save by Francis. Flanagan. Uh, Applauding the cross here from young Stewart. Got his neck muscles working, but the reflexes of the keeper were equal to it. And here's Michael White, though, for QPR. And that's a good little shot off the top of the crossbar. What a lovely bit of skill by Gary Michael White, and I thought for a moment that he fooled Steve Francis. What a lovely shot. Just clipping off the top of the crossbar. Chelsea leading 1-0. Fillery with the free kick for them. Deep towards Lee. What a getting it away. Oh, Hale's turning it back. Loader underneath this one. Thompson getting in as well. Mays with a shot! 2-0! finish for Chelsea and it's all up for Rangers now and Alan Mays against his old club catching it on the volley without a lot of power it's fair but the direction was right and Burridge was without a chance on the volley right foot into the corner playing time added on 
And there's no way now that Rangers can catch Chelsea. And all the excitement in this game in the last quarter of an hour. victory for Chelsea back on their heels for quite a while in this game and then two goals in the last 12 minutes Clive Walker getting the first one and then number seven Alan Mays adding to it right at the finish the Chelsea fans are going mad behind that left-hand goal a word about Chelsea have now stretched their unbeaten run to six games. They became the first side to win at QPR since August, and they do begin to look a bit of a side again. And manager John Neal, who's got a number of things right at the club, knows how much yesterday's win was down to defender and skipper to Mickey Droy. Yeah, yeah, isn't he? A tremendous skipper. Club captain, you know, he takes a lot of pride in Chelsea. And he showed it to dear. I don't think it was any better on the field. In fact, I would give him the star. I'll give him the star jersey on Monday, Brian. You got a booking, though, John? Well, it's inevitable. We, uh, we decided this before the match, that would it be positive. And if we were going to tackle people, we had to go and tackle them. No good chickening out halfway. Yes. And this was the positive attitude that they all had, and they went through and won a lot. When people tell me you can't tackle on this surface, prove to you they can. Mine, Mickey Joy's got a few burns and that, but, you know, we just here once a season, aren't we? Yes. John Neal, a happy man, the manager of Chelsea.